Hello friends, today's topic of discussion is tumor markers. It is a very very important SAQ for university examination and it is a frequently asked question in university examination. We will discuss the topic under the heading of definitions, uh, definition various samples taken for the measurement of tumor markers and what are the characteristics of ideal tumor marker and what are the different uses of these tumor markers followed by their examples. This is a complete short note. So what is the meaning of tumor? Tumor means cancer or neoplasm. Cancer means it is a abnormal uncontrolled growth of the cell that is known as cancer. So what is the meaning of tumor marker? The substances specifically proteins. These are the proteins. Substances which are substances mainly proteins produced by tumor cells produced by tumor cells or produced by normal cells in response to produced in response to tumor cells or tumor tissues and detected in body or detecting detected in body fluids they are known as tumor markers substances produced by the tumor cells or substances produced by the normal cells in response to tumor tissues and detected in body fluid by various methods which are available they are known as tumor markers they are associated with this cancer what is the characteristic? They are associated with this cancer. That's why they are known as tumor markers. Which body fluids they are used for the uh, estimation of these tumor markers? The first one is the blood. The important one is the serum or blood. Then urine. Then body fluids. Body fluid means ascitic fluid, pleural fluid, cerebrospinal fluid, synovial fluid, etc and tissues, various tissues that can be taken for the estimation of these tumor markers. Blood, urine, body fluid and various tissues can be taken for estimation of tumor markers. Now what is the characteristic of ideal marker? What should be the characteristics of ideal markers? So it should be constantly associated with the disease, means specific for that disease. So what are the characteristics of ideal marker? It should be specific for that disease, specific for that cancer. Okay. Second, it should be sensitive enough to be detected by various sensitive to be detected by various methods available. It should be present in more concentration as compared to normal individual. More con concentration when it is compared to normal individual. Specific, sensitive enough to be detected, present in more concentration as compared to normal individual. It should tell about the stage of the disease. It should tell about the stage of the disease or stages of cancer. It should tell about the stage of the cancer. Stage of the cancer means extent of tumor. How it is, uh, how large it is. That is known as extent of cancer. If, whether it is spread to local organ or distant organ that is known as extent of disease or, disease or stage of the disease so tumor uh, marker concentration should be raised in proportion to its mass okay that is known as extent of the disease it should tell about the stage of the disease so these are the different characteristic of uh, ideal markers they should be specific for the disease sensitive enough to be detected by the methods which are available then concentration should be more as compared to the normal individual and they should tell about the stage of the cancer or stage of the disease got it so these are the characteristics of ideal markers now what are the uses important uses of markers the first one is the it is used for screening it is used for screening of the disease what is the meaning of screening? 
स्क्रीनिंग मीन्स अर्ली डिटेक्शन ऑफ कैंसर अर्ली डिटेक्शन हेल्प इन क्यूरिंग द कैंसर इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल पैप स्मियर द सर्वाइकल स्मियर पैप स्मियर इट इज टेकन फॉर द स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ सर्वाइकल कैंसर मीन्स बिफोर द स्टार्ट ऑफ द डिसीज और बिफोर द सिम्टम बिफोर द सिम्टम अपियर्स दट इज नोन एज स्क्रीनिंग सो इट शुड बी एबल टू स्क्रीन द पॉप्युलेशन सो वॉट इज द यूजेस इट इज यूज फॉर द स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ द डिसीज और स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ द सर्टन कैंसर फॉर एग्जाम्पल पैप स्मियर इट इज यूज फॉर स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ सर्वाइकल कैंसर मैमोग्राम मैमोग्राम इट इज यूज फॉर द स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कार्सिनोमा सेकंड डायग्नोसिस डायग्नोसिस इट इज यूज इन द डायग्नोसिस और कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ द कैंसर अलॉन्ग विथ इमेजिंग टेक्निक्स इमेजिंग टेक्निक्स मीन्स सिटी स्कैन एम आर आई पेट स्कैन एक्सेट्रा सो इट शुड बी यूज इन द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ डिसीज अलॉन्ग विथ इमेजिंग टेक्निक अलॉन्ग विथ इमेजिंग एंड क्लिनिकल सिम्टम्स along with clinical criteria and imaging technique it is used for the diagnosis of cancer okay for example alpha fetoprotein level it is used for the diagnosis of hepatocellular carcinoma okay so screening diagnosis then staging 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 means extent of tumor how large it is extent of tumor how large it is whether Uh, it invades the uh, local tissue or it spreads to the distant tissues means metastasis that is known as stage it should it tells about the staging of the cancer okay then prognosis prognosis means course of course of disease prognosis means course of disease whether patient will improve whether patient will worsen or it remains stable that is known as prognosis it tells about the life of the patient okay so tumor tumor tells about the prognosis of the disease for example carcino embryonic antigen it tells about the colon cancer it tells about the prognosis of colon cancer more is the concentration prognosis is worst okay that is known as Uh, it is used for prognosis of the cancer or prognosis of the disease then monitoring monitoring of patient in treatment so therapeutic monitoring of patient can be done with the help of tumor markers then follow follow up once your treatment is done the regular checkup is done uh, for the follow up of the patient and tumor marker helps in the follow up of the patient so in this way tumor marker help in screening of the population diagnosis and confirmation of the disease staging of the cancer prognosis of the disease monitoring of the patient in the treatment and follow up of the patient regular regular follow up of the patient these are the uses of tumor markers now coming to the example or classification of tumor markers tumor markers can be classified into oncophytal uh, markers that is oncophytal antigen it includes uh, afp that is alpha fetoprotein and carcino embryonic antigen these are the oncoproteins okay then carbohydrate antigen or cancer antigen that is ca 153 ca 199 and ca 125 these are the cancer antigen okay then various hormones are there for example acth hcg calcitonin insulin serotonin these are the hormones which are useful in the detection of various cancers various enzymes for example alkaline phosphatases neuron specific enolase prostatic acid phosphatases and ldh can be useful in detection of cancer so we'll see one by one
सो दे आर क्लासिफाइड इंटू ऑंकोफिटल एंटीजेन देन कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंटीजेन और कैंसर एंटीजेन देन हार्मोन्स दीज आर द हार्मोन्स एंजाइम्स एंड वेरियस अदर मार्कर्स और रिसेप्टर्स और वेरियस अदर मार्कर्स और मोलिकुलर मार्कर्स ओके सो कमिंग टू द वन बाय वन डिस्कशन अल्फा फिटो प्रोटीन इट इज ए ऑंकोफिटल एंटीजेन इट इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग द फिटल लाइफ इट इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग द फिटल लाइफ लेटर ऑन द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ अल्फा फिटो प्रोटीन डिक्रीजेस इन द एडल्ट लाइफ इट इट डिक्रीजेस ओके बट वेन एवर देर इज कैंसर ऑफ हिपेटिक सेल और हिपेटो सेल्युलर कार्सिनोमा और वेन एवर देर इज जर्म सेल ट्यूमर द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ अल्फा फिटो प्रोटीन इंक्रीजेस सो अल्फा फिटो प्रोटीन इट इज यूज इन द डिटेक्शन ऑफ हिपेटो सेल्युलर कार्सिनोमा एंड जर्म सेल ट्यूमर्स ओके सेकंड ऑंकोफेटल एंटीजेन इज कार्सिनो एम्ब्रियोनिक एंटीजेन कार्सिनो एम्ब्रियोनिक एंटीजेन द कार दिस एंटीजेन इट इज यूजफुल इन द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ कोलॉन कैंसर लंग कैंसर एंड ब्रेस्ट कैंसर इट इज इट इज इंक्रीजेस इन वेरियस कैंसर्स ऑफ दिस मोस्ट कॉमन आर कोलोरेक्टल ब्रेस्ट एंड लंग लंग कैंसर इट इज यूज for the screening staging monitoring follow up and disease prognosis carcino embryonic antigen so these two alpha fito protein and carcino embryonic antigen these are the oncofetal antigens used for the detection of cancer now second one is the this carbohydrate antigen or cancer antigen 15 3 it is used for the detection of breast cancer then 19 9 it is used for detection of pancreatic and various intestinal cancer that is colon cancer then uh, ca125 it is used for the detection of ovarian cancer this is important mcq mcqs okay ca125 it is used for detection of ovarian cancer then these are the carbohydrate antigen then various hormones acth acth it is useful the ectopic acth formation it is useful in detection of lung cancer ectopic acth production it is useful in detection of lung cancer beta hcg human chorionic gonadotropins human chorionic gonadotropin it is useful in the detection of choriocarcinoma Corio carcinoma and various germ cell tumors can be detected by the HCG concentration. This HCG concentration also increases during the pregnancy. Okay, in normal condition, it pregnancy it also increases. Then calcitonin. It is used for screening of medullary carcinoma of thyroid. Calcitonin. Calcitonin. It is used for screening of medullary. carcinoma of thyroid gland insulin it is used for insulinoma and serotonin it is used for detection serotonin it is used for detection of carcinoid tumor carcinoid tumor it is used for detection of carcinoid tumors then various catecholamines they are used for detection of pheochromocytoma catecholamines epinephrine catechol amines it is used for detection of pheochromocytoma pheochromocytoma it is tumor of adrenal gland okay then various enzymes are there they are used in the uh, detection monitoring follow up purpose example alkaline phosphatase two important variants that is liver and bone isoenzyme liver it will be helpful in detection of liver metastasis liver isoenzyme of alkaline phosphatase while bone isoenzyme of liver uh, alkaline phosphatase will help in uh, detection of bone metastasis there are uh, also other variants that is regan nagao these are the other variants which are also helpful in the diagnosis of certain cancers
then neuron specific enolase neuron specific enolase it is useful in the diagnosis of neuroblastoma neuroblastoma now cell tumor then prostatic acid phosphatase this enzyme it is useful in the detection of prostate cancer prostate cancer prostatic acid phosphatase then prostate prostate specific antigen this is not enzyme this is a protein prostate specific antigen it is useful in the detection of prostate cancer and its concentration also increases in benign hypertrophy of prostate benign hypertrophy of prostate so these are the enzymes which are used in detection of certain cancer and used as a tumor markers you can remember this topic as a b c d e f g h how so a for alpha phytoprotein a for alkaline phosphatase then b for beta hcg which is used for detection of choriocarcinoma then c for carbohydrate antigen cancer antigen then uh, calcitonin and chorea uh, carcino embryonic antigen c there is no d here uh, d is there that is uh, des uh, prothrombin des gamma prothrombin is there for d but forgot it so calcitonin then nothing is for d then e for estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor they are useful in the detection of breast cancer then g for gastrin it is used for detection of gastrinoma then h that is h e r her2 it is useful for detection of breast cancer it is important her2 it is useful in detection of breast cancer then ldh it is used for the detection of ldh1 specifically ldh1 it is useful for detection of testicular and germ cell tumors ldh5 it is useful for uh, ldh4 5 it is useful for the liver okay it is uh, useful for the carcinoma involving the liver ldh4 5 okay so and prostatic specific antigen and prostatic acid phosphatase it is used for detection of prostate cancer so these are the there are number of tumor markers of these these are the commonly used tumor markers they are used in the uh, screening of the disease diagnosis of the disease staging of the disease prognosis then monitoring of the treatment and follow up of the patient so these are the uses of this tumor markers so keep watching thank you